Hello! Let's go through a brief overview of some of the exciting new features and enhancements available in Jamf Pro 11.16. A new service is introduced in Jamf Pro 11.16 called Compliance Benchmarks, available in the sidebar. This service utilizes the macOS Security Compliance Project to provide guidance on generating a benchmark of security standards for your organization. Once that's set, a series of objects are automatically created in Jamf Pro to enforce those security standards on managed computers. Requirements to use compliance benchmarks include Jamf Pro hosted in standard or premium cloud. Compliance benchmarks are not available for premium cloud plus, state ramp, GovCloud, and on-premises servers. Another requirement is single sign-on, or SSO, turned on in Jamf Pro and managed in Jamf Account. Check out the links in the description for more information on configuring SSO with Jamf Account. After SSO is configured, log out of Jamf Pro and log in using SSO to continue with the Compliance Benchmarks feature. Click Get Started for one of the available templates and select an enforcement type. Jamf recommends deploying a monitor-only compliance benchmark first to review the impact to your environment before enforcing those standards. Click Next, then configure the scope by selecting one smart group. In the next step, administrators can view details about each of the rules and select whether or not they are included in the benchmark. Any rules with a default value can be changed to the value defined by an organization's security policy. Notice supported operating systems include the current and past two versions of macOS. Click Next and we can review the objects that will be created in Jamf Pro, like a new category, an extension attribute, scripts, policies, and smart groups. If the enforcement type of monitor and enforce was selected on the first screen, objects to enforce the benchmark, like configuration profiles, would also be created. Click Save and Deploy, and the new benchmark appears as in progress while the new objects are created, all customized to the chosen benchmark. Depending on the benchmark, this process could take up to 15 minutes. Click Open, then click the Rule Reports tab to see a report of computers that have been checked against the rules in this benchmark and their pass or fail rate. Computers that are still pending the initial check appear as unknown. Click the Configuration tab to review settings and even make changes to benchmark rules. A message appears to notify administrators if any changes are made. Click Discard Changes to revert back to the rules that are currently deployed. Or click Deploy at the top of the page to update the necessary objects in Jamf Pro that were created using this benchmark. Again, depending on the enforcement type, the objects that are created by a benchmark can include policies, configuration profiles, scripts, extension attributes, categories, and smart computer groups. With the release of Jamf Pro 11.16 comes the ability to customize the deployment settings for app installers. When a new app version is added to Jamf app installers, the commands to update are sent out at once. This can cause network congestion due to the download traffic when many devices receive the update commands at the same time. To mitigate network congestion, navigate to Settings, Computer Management, App Installers, and now we can adjust when, how many, and how often update commands are sent. Click Edit, then select Custom under Batch Size, and a menu appears to choose how many commands are deployed at a time. Under Batch Frequency, select Custom, then choose how often a batch of commands are deployed. Select Custom under Server Time, then set a start and end time to limit command deployments to a specific time frame. Under Days, select Custom, then select which days of the week to enable command deployments. Finally, click Save. It's important to note this does not schedule when the updates will occur, just when the commands to update are sent. For any devices not currently connected to the Internet, commands will queue on Apple's server and resume as devices reconnect. Before Jamf Pro 11.16, Apple released macOS 15.4 and iOS 18.4, which allowed for new restrictions on computers and mobile devices. 
On the same day, Jamf Pro 11.15.2 was released to support them, including new restrictions of Apple intelligence requests processed externally. For computer configuration profiles with the restrictions payload configured, these can be found in the Functionality tab. To prevent users from creating an Apple intelligence report, using Smart Reply in Mail, and getting web page summaries in Safari, scroll down to find the Allow Apple Intelligence Restrictions. Deselect the checkboxes for Intelligence Reports, Mail Smart Replies, and Safari Summary. In a mobile device configuration profile containing the restrictions payload, the same restrictions can be found in the Functionality tab. Scroll down to find the Apple Intelligence Restrictions and select Restrict for Intelligence Reports, Mail Smart Replies, and Safari Summary. With Jamf Pro 11.15.2, administrators can prevent users from changing the default apps used for calling and messaging. In a mobile device configuration profile containing the restrictions payload, these settings can be found in the Functionality tab. Scroll down to find the default calling app modification and default messaging app modification restrictions and select Restrict for each. It's important to note this does not allow administrators to configure the default calling and messaging apps. It only restricts access for users to change them. So if a user has already changed one of the default apps, applying this restriction locks that as the default unless the restriction is removed. With the release of Jamf Pro 11.15.2, administrators have new options for skipping panes during Setup Assistant. On computers, one pane that appears during Setup Assistant allows users to configure software update settings. This can be restricted for computers using pre-stage enrollments. Scroll to the bottom of the general payload to find Setup Assistant options. To prevent users from enabling software update during Setup Assistant, select the checkbox for Software Update. On mobile devices, a pane that appears during Setup Assistant allows users to configure safety and handling settings. This can be restricted for mobile devices by configuring the Skip Setup Items payload of a mobile device configuration profile. Locate the Skip Safety and Handling setting and use the switch to ensure that pane doesn't appear during Setup Assistant. This can also be restricted in the General section of a mobile device pre-stage enrollment. Scroll down to Setup Assistant options, locate Safety and Handling, then select the checkbox to ensure it doesn't appear during Setup Assistant. That's all for our quick overview of some of the new features introduced in Jamf Pro 11.16. Be sure to visit the Jamf Pro release notes in the Jamf Learning Hub at learn.jamf.com for requirements and details about the features we've covered and to review all of the exciting updates in this version. Thanks for watching.